Hey, how's it going? It's Hey from Gruxton. I'm back again. I'm energized, motivated, ready for battle. Fucking addled up on energy. I'm fucking ready to fucking ignite. Fuck, I, I got killed and butchered and skinned and ate that rabbit. The battery selling fuck. The energizer bunny. I took his drum set. I, I fucking, I jumped, landed on Pluto. I had a script written, luckily. I, I found it. I must have wrote it. Well, today... Now, contrary to what fat models on magazines will tell you, today, what matters on the outside is what matters, not on the inside, because we're talking about consoles today. The best looking ones. We're not talking about graphics. We're talking about aesthetic. Fuck graphics. We have aesthetic. At number 10, we have the Game Boy Advance. Oh, the little laptop that could. I, I, I like the, the it's fucking compact form factor. It's, uh, it's just neat. It, it invokes the past. It's got, like, it, like it, if the flip phone technology in it, it's, it's invoking the past, you know? Hello past. It's the GBA. I, I tell you, it's, it's something weird about the GBA. It, and this goes with the Nintendo 64 too. It invokes a nostalgia in me. Now, saying nostalgia in the retro gaming community, that ain't new, trust me, I know. But, I don't, it's a very unique, finite, fine-tuned, down-to-a-microscope type of nostalgia. That's only was this in the Nintendo 64. There's three things that, like, I think about. Like, like the past, simpler times. Things more colorful, less corporate. And, like, I, for some reason, McDonald's always factors in as, like, early 2000s nostalgia. I don't know. They just go together. Next, we have the Sega Master System. The thing with the Sega Master System, <laughs> it, it looks like a fake game console. It doesn't look real. Like, it's got that giant play button on it and shit. This, it looks like some Nickelodeon show, like when they have to have a fake video game console. Like, this would be it. I mean, even the fucking name, Sega Master System, it sounds like a fake name that some, like, fucking room of execs at fucking Nickelodeon or Cartoon Network would be think of. Like, they'd think that's a video game. Like, you can picture the kid in the movie. Like, like the, the commercial comes on TV. The new Sega Master System. Are you a master player? And he'd fucking have to... He'd be begging his parents for it. It's like the whole point of the movie. You know, I will say it's the Sega Master System, too. I'm digging the red and black. I like the red and black. It's my go-to color combination, so... Fuck yeah. Next, we have the Amstrad GX 4000. I know you haven't heard of it. Neither had I. Until I saw a picture of it on the, on the fucking computer. The, it's just like, this console is European only, so it's some European thing, so we know it's not as good as the American one, but you know, I'll give this console some dues. It, it, it looks futuristic, like it looks cool. I love the look of it. It fucking looks like, like you, like fucking E.T. or something, like you'd be in the cool field, then like you'd see some hovering UFO with this beam down on the ground. Then like this console would be laying though in the fucking crop circle when it took off. It just looks futuristic. The next console we have is the Xbox Original. I probably should cover up the logo on it so it doesn't fuck with my green screen, but eh, we'll see what happens. The Xbox Original, this fucking thing. This is the opposite of the last console we talked about. This is fucking American engineering, motherfucker. I mean, how what do I start with this thing? Like, it's got fucking like grooves and shit the grooves are a pain in the ass with dust but i tell you what these grooves are groovy i don't know the xbox original it's got a cool design this is the definition if you go on your computer and you type in what is the opposite of subtlety this is what fucking pops up motherfucker i like the xbox original i like the fucking design it's not booing like later console this I mean, they just slapped a big fucking X on it. And if that wasn't enough, they slapped a big Xbox fucking logo on it. They put Xbox in the front. They put it all over the place. This was bold. It's This is the fucking, fucking hero of, of its era. Next, we got the Bally Astrocade. This console screams luxury. Now, it's my shitty camera quality in the glare. You probably can't see it, but I got shit behind me, I bet. Because I don't know why else would I be in a green screen room. But, um... The Bally Astrocade is cool. It's got the nice wood grain. It's got the nice metal ridges. It's got the nice, small, non-intrusive keyboard. Unlike the Odyssey 2 or like other consoles that had a keyboard for some fucking reason. 
it's nice, sleek, it gets the job done. It's almost like a, like a fancy calculator. You know, those calculators that you, you pop the lid off. It's not just thrown in a fucking drawer. It's got purpose. And so does this. I mean, even, like, this console screams luxury. Like, like, like the dad in Home Alone would have bought this. Like, like this is like your rich guy traveling the world. You got this fucking thing in a briefcase. And watch. The top can come off, too. So you don't have to get up to get a different game. The games are all right there. I long live the Bally fucking Astrocade. Next, we have the Telegrams ES2021-22 Phillips. I, the name will be on the screen. It's too fucking long. It's shorting the goddamn name, people. I, this console, I can't fully explain why I like the look of it. I mean, first of all, let's just get the fucking elephant out of the room. It's probably a crime to keep a zoo animal out of license, and I've been framed. I didn't put this elephant in this room. But anyway, I'll, I'll, let's get the other elephant out of the room, the metaphorical one, before I deal with the little one over there. But uh, the thing is, this is this looks like something the fucking, like, the, the doctor, like, would pull out. This looks like a thermometer or something. Like, ah, uh, I, I told to fucking think of why I love the look of it. I guess it's like, here, here's what it is. It. It's colorful. It invokes happiness. But at the same time, it does it in a way that's subtle and sleek and like like subdued. Like it's a nice clean thing. It's not this that he didn't fucking throw glitter on it and toss it out the fucking door. It was carefully fine-tuned to look fucking cool. It's mysterious too. I I've only ever seen one listing of this console for sale. And that sold. Like some, this is, I think, this is some European console, but, God, it looks cool. Ah, damn, it didn't work again. Why do I have a handgun, though? Well, because it's for this fucking thing. This fucking monstrosity. This is, this was on my bucket list for a while, the console I want, because it's just a fucking showstopper. It's like, it's like being out with your friends and a fucking, you know, a woman who's a, a 10 with Daisy Dukes on walks by. It, it, it's, it's a whole dog fucking also. It, 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 it steals your gaze. And so does this. In a game room. Again, it's got a fucking gun. It's got a fucking steering wheel. A fucking stick shift thing. And you even got your knobs. You know, everybody... Ah, uh, voice activated technology. Ah, uh, voice this fucking thumbprint unlock on your phone. Motherfucker. N buttons. And we already. The, why? Where did the dial go? Why are there no more dials? Dials are good. They're good. Ah, uh, this is just cool. It's. That's all you can say. It's just cool. This is something that you would never see today. This is. I mean, imagine if PlayStation 6 came out and it was this. Like, this is a product of its time and. God, it's so badass. Moving away from obscure things that nobody fucking knows, we've got the classic Atari 2600, motherfucker. Hey, I wasn't a fan of the Atari 2500, or, or the 100 in between. I, I failed, I was trying to make a joke like this, like this was the 2600 Atari. Boy, howdy, that joke failed. Um, yeah, this is the Atari uh, VCS, but we all know it, it's the 2600. I, I like it. It's classic wood grain. I like the wood grain. Wood grain's cool. It's got the fucking grooves again. It's almost like a grill in a way. <laughs> like you can, it's the fucking, you can, I somebody made this joke before. It's like you can slap patties down on son of a bitch. It's all to talk about this one because we all know why it's cool. Just look at it. It's got wood grain and grooves and fucking switches and shit. Long live the Atari 2600. Next we got the Nintendo Entertainment System. The This fucking thing, I mean, it, iconic. You put this in the background of a movie, everybody instantly recognizes it. This fucking thing, it's got the VHS design to it, which in retrospect was retorted. Because you got a fucking, you got the fucking thing, the springs or the fucking pins or whatever get fucked up. I had to open this up and go inside of it and fix it. But, as anybody knows, once you go inside, your love you cannot hide. Because, long live this fucking thing. Even though it broke again, I gotta fix it again, goddammit. I just, it's the contrast. 
it's so beautifully contrasted between the three colors. And before you say black's not a color, I fucking know, asshole. The thing is, it just, it works so well. Now this last one is slightly odd because this, I'm not choosing the whole console itself. Just a specific variation of it. It is the old 2D2 Xbox 360. I like the look. I mean, just fucking. The nice contrasted blue and white. Like, it's just so aesthetically appealing in every way. At least to me. And I mean, it has the crook too. It makes like the old 2D2 noise, which is pretty cool. But that's audio. We're doing visual. Now, it's pretty neat though. I like it. It's my favorite console variation. So I had to make sure to get it. The only downside is because it makes beeps and boops. Like, okay, I have a friend. I, I made him, but he's, I, I have a friend who's a robot. Uh, Buzz 2000. And he, he, he thinks of this as a robot. So like, I don't know. He gets jealous and, you know, they start fighting. You know, the old well-known established fucking saying that we all know right you know you know i don't even have to say is the well-established well-known saying you can't keep two robots in a room for too long or they're still fighting and then you go, you'll go i thought i had robots i i i i guess i guess i'm blind because all i hear is, is two dogs fighting two ravenous fucking pit bulls i i thought i had robots but then i then i got pit bulls ah that well-known saying which is too cliche to say I don't have anything else to say about this console. Oh, fucking. What are you doing still here? The video's over. What are you doing? Ah, it's a failed Spieler Deadpool reference. Yeah. Uh, bye.